I am deeply honored to compose the music and to participate in this harmonious collaboration video in honor of Unsi Owati Win Brushbreaker. Unsi speaks of Mother's Day and the special role of women as life bringers to the earth. A 101-year-old woman of the Lakota tribe, she is a treasure to the world and living legacy of the Lakota way of life, a culture which was almost lost. Oh, mothers of the world, the life givers of the world, happy Mother's Day. And I'm glad to share my Lakota nation with all other nations in the world. Makasi Domini means the whole universe. <laughs> Tugashila, the great spirit, to let us have the power to be mothers and grandmas and aunties and sisters.
W O P L I W O P L A means thank you for giving us the power of our creation of the world. W O P L A T H A K A Y E B R I H I Y A P I E B R I H I Y A P I E O P L A Brihichia pie, brihichia pie, o heche tu ele. So bless us all to continue our life with happiness with all our people of the world, nation of the world. We thank you, Oyasi, all my relatives. Thank you all, my relations.
think she was inspired so by the beautiful. Oh. Unfinished, to feel the soul burn with the fire that one has achieved, and to be torn without finding a solution, without finding the means to put any of our thoughts in relation to what one wants to do. To struggle, and to feel too great in relation to what one wants to do. In relation to what one wants to do. In relation to what one wants to do. And to feel too great in relation to what one has achieved. To feel the soul burn with a fire that consumes it, and to find it always unquenched, and to realise that you. Maria Felicita Doria rise at the Tessie. Maria Yael Trautschat. Lemons Caroline Blanche. How often we contest Lemons shattered. When I was a girl, a young girl, I was frightened by a man who came out of the, the woods. He called to me to come to talk to him. I was walking to a friend's house. I was afraid. He was suspicious, and, and I was scared, and so I began to run. I, I ran, and I'm, I'm not really a runner, so it, it was hard. And I ran really, really hard, and my, my heart was pounding, and... My, my legs were bare and, and the grasses were breaking against them and my heart was beating and I could hear it pumping in my ears and it was frightening and I, I ran and ran and he didn't seem to follow me but I ran and I ran and I ran. I ran to my friend's house and when I got there my friend's mother was very concerned and I didn't want to tell her. I didn't want to tell them. I didn't want them to tell my mother because my father always said if, if you go out alone you might get raped, you might get murdered, and you might be left for dead in the ditch. I could hear the blood rushing through my ears. I was so afraid. I was so afraid. My, my father's voice in my head saying, be careful, be cautious, be careful, be cautious. Sigh. <sighs> 
That damn shuttle is 20 minutes late already. This is ridiculous. Why am I waiting 20 minutes for a three minute ride that I could walk in less than 10? <sighs> because I'd never forgive myself, that's why. My mother would never forgive me either if something happened. I'd hate myself for being stupid enough to walk across campus alone after dark. I'll give it 10 more minutes. I'd wanted to share what I, what I felt and the weird fears that I have for being afraid of going places and being in public places and being criticized for doing that. Uh, late at night, uh, I always try to go with classmates because you never know what's going to happen uh, out there because I don't know who's watching. Okay, now I'm pissed. What the hell is that goddamn shuttle driver doing anyway? I've got an 8 o'clock class tomorrow and I don't need to be hanging out here till fucking midnight. I, I guess I feel so silly walking and making sure my keys are in my hand before I go out the door uh, and just always looking around kind of over my shoulder and I can't help but stare at the guy that's across the sidewalk just to see if he's looking at me and make sure he knows I'm looking at him. There's been a couple times when someone's walking too close and you try to dart in between cars or uh, run to the car if you feel like they're following you. It's scary. What kind of feminist am I if I'm too scared to walk home without some guy to protect me? Feminism is a sham. We're not even in control of our own bodies. Jesus, I'm pissed. It kind of keeps me up at night if I'm laying there and happen to think about something like that. I just kind of push it out of my head and say a little prayer and hope that it all goes away. Okay, that's it. I'm walking. I'm so ticked off. If anybody messes with me, I swear to God, I'll rip his fucking you balls off. You get those off. emails about driving faster, what to look for, and even how to do your hair so <laughs> nobody will grab it and try to attack you in the parking lot. Those forwards that your mom always sends I'm not wasting you. another second of my life waiting for that lazy bastard of a driver. He probably didn't even show up for work today. Or how to hold your keys to defend yourself when you're going places at night or in the day. You hear about things like that, too. Girls that get just taken from walking to the mall parking lot in the middle of the afternoon and then disappear for forever. It's almost like there's not really any safe place to be. It's like everywhere is dangerous. What do they think the shuttle service is for, anyway? A goddamn pleasure tour at midnight in downtown? And yet it's always there. It never really goes away. It's just something you learn to live with as a girl. <sighs> Here I go. Walk swiftly and confidently, head up, be alert, take out your ponytail, keys in hand. I worked out for a while. I worked out really hard at the gym, and it was kind of a good feeling that when you lifted more than the boys, that somehow you've learned to defend yourself, and walking out to the parking lot from the gym, you feel sort of invincible. I wonder what would hurt the guy more, getting kicked in the groin or poked in the eyes with my keys. I wonder if this pepper spray thing even works. It's not like I can test it out on a friend. But it's funny that I'd have to become a man of sorts. Oh, I don't like the looks of that guy. Change my body. Look him straight in the eye. Let him know you can ID him in a lineup. From what it is to what how it could be. Hmm. I wonder if that really works. Or if it just gives them an extra motivation to kill you when they're done with you. Be more masculine and be stronger and harder. Ugh, my blood boils just thinking about it. These pathetic, miserable shitheads think they have to ruin somebody's life and make us all feel powerless all the time that just to be a man. I'd have to fight for my, for my well-being. Get a therapist. Get a grip on your fucking life. I swear to God I wouldn't rest until the bastard were dead or in constant agony if some fuckhead tried to do that to me. Careful. Be cautious. I was so afraid. Be alert. I was so afraid. My my father's voice in my head saying, "When I was twelve, be careful. Be cautious. You never know be what's going to happen." Be cautious. This man was why there. Did I come down this street? Oh, something happened. He grabbed me and I ran. I'd hate myself so for being scared. stupid enough to walk ran. alone. And you try to dart in between dark. cars or raped and murdered, uh, run. You might be murdered. To the car. You might be raped and murdered. Keys in you hand. might be left for dead. Raped and murdered. I ran fast. Left. 
We're not even in control of our own bodies. I was afraid he might fall. Ready to poke their eye out. It's scary. We don't talk about it. Feminism is a sham. We're made We're fun just of. Objects when of my prey. husband and I walk in for If I places, think about what he's might always happen, so concerned I'll be better I don't prepared if it ever did. Oh, he'll follow me. I know it's scary. the things that are going on around. We are objects of prey. What kind of feminist I am I if I'm too scared to walk home me. without some guy? It's not to even safe me. to go in public. You might be murdered. It kind of keeps me up at night. They grab you and they laugh. These pathetic, miserable shitheads think they have to ruin you somebody's life. You might get life. raped. You they might get all murdered. feel powerless all the time by, just to be a man. It kind of keeps me up at night. I get taken from walking to the mall parking lot. At least lot. I have ID. In the middle of the afternoon and then I'm cautious. For forever. Not in I'm the We're not even in control of our own It's, it's like bodies. we exist for someone else's There's not really conquest. any safe place to be. If anybody messes with me, I swear to God, I'll rip his fucking We don't even off. have control of our bodies. It's everywhere's dangerous. I wouldn't rest until the bathroom. And yet it's always dead. there. I am in constant control. agony if some fuckhead tried to do that to me. It never really goes away. It's just something you learn to live with. I refuse a girl, to let fear control my life. I can do this. I have to fight for my for my well-being. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid. to Oh, no. 
The streets of the city are We want to believe a footprint transforms by recycling plastic yogurt containers. One by one, container by container. One by one, container by container. We want to believe a footprint transforms by reusing trash bags, riding our bikes to work. We search websites to research our home's footprints in equations. To to research our home's footprints in equations, in equations, electricity. Use kilowatt hours per year times an emissions factor of kilograms of CO2 emitted per kilowatt hour equals emissions of kilograms of CO2 emitted per year. And natural gas. Per year times an emissions factor of kilograms of CO2 emitted per therm equals emissions of kilograms of CO2 emitted per year. We faulty in our theorems, we ask the wrong questions. We want to ignore the facts, our economic sector. Our business as usual burn up half a rampant greenhouse emissions burning up natural gas, oil and coal for electricity and heat creates the largest source of global greenhouse gases creates the largest source of global greenhouse gases the largest source of global greenhouse gases at 25 percent followed by 24% from agriculture in cultivation of livestock and crops and deforestation. Then 21% of industry involved in burning fossil fuels. We add and we add and we add and we add. We want to think ourselves mathematicians, 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 rules and rule makers, and a false division creeps into our calculations, our foundations fracturing beneath us, our inability to balance an equation, our inability. To balance an equation, an equation, an equation of land effects with a climate shifting, shifting by our industrialization, our laws, our hands, our decisions, our development, our And we add and we add and we add, we add and we add and we add and we add, we add and 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 we add
Good morning. It is 9.30 a.m. We woke up at 7 a.m. And I changed a few diapers for the baby and fed her some blueberries and pears puree. And uh, cleaned her nose because she's she has a cold. She's a little fussy because of that. Uh, I cleaned the kitchen. Uh, emptied the the dishwasher and now I'm waiting for the baby to take her first nap of the day. List for today. Mail a book. Prep for school tomorrow. Fix sewing machine. 2.30 p.m. doctor's appointment with Dr. Kleiman, follow up about birth control, weighed 143 pounds today, 5.45 p.m. checked out a bike, um, it seemed okay, 6.45 p.m. massage, that night woke up at 4.30 a.m. with cramps, took 400 milligrams of Advil, had a dream that was super anxious about classes, tons of students who were rowdy, and I don't know their names or the class I'm teaching. I got up around 7.30 and um, checked how long it takes to go to the Mayfield Cafe and um, went to the Mayfield Cafe to pick up some, uh, some breakfast. Then I went from there to pick up Nicole um, and bring her to Karma where she was giving some lessons. Um, and I sat in on a lesson from 9 to 10. And then I walked from there to my feminist gender studies class at 10.30 um, and from class till noon. It is 11.42 a.m. and Anna just woke up and she's going to play a little bit now with a squeaky tiger in the book. She also uh, nursed a little bit and in this time when she was sleeping I took a quick shower, tidy up a little bit and did laundry and that's pretty much it i was heading to the next class which is the first grade class um on the way i was stopped by a bunch of my students who are kindergartners and they were very happy singing songs for me. That was very cute. First grade class from 10 to 10.30. Um, after the class.
but I had to talk to the classroom teacher about a bullying incident that happened in class. <laughs> Friday. Pay rent in the mail, $1,300. Car didn't start this morning. Fuck. Biked everywhere, and it was heavy shit. At Fusion, at work, had a meeting. Ate Domino's pizza for lunch and chocolate, and had very bad stomach cramps after, and nauseated. And, let's see, uh, oh, and then I had to finish um, rewriting my fellowship application uh, between 1 and 3, and then at 3.30 I went briefly to Stanford New Ensemble rehearsal, and then I taught a lesson at 4.15, um, and I was planning to go to a talk at 5.30, but my lesson went over. 4 p.m. therapy, then swam for 30 minutes. And I was up at 3 a.m. the following night, or that night, hungry and anxious and ate some applesauce. Teaching is so hard, having trouble teaching them math. One of my students cut, and why do I feel responsible? What about boundaries? I want to know what I want to do, but I have no fucking idea. None. It is 5.30 p.m. And I slept from 2.30 to about 5 p.m. And I could get some lunch at this time and um, work a little bit on a graphic design task and now we're playing again we're supposed to go out for a walk but then it is a little windy outside so we're staying in and yeah we're having fun now fun time um, and then at 7.30, I went to the um, Stanford New Ensemble slash undergrad composition uh, concert and listened to the undergrad pieces and then joined um, in the network performance of Terry Riley's MC. Um, and that went pretty late, I think, maybe like 10. List for shopping, open-end wrenches, sandpaper, rubber gloves, goggles. My period started, took two Tylenol at 5 p.m. and one Tylenol at 6 p.m. I want to lose weight. I want to trust myself. It is 8 p.m.
I could not do anything. And hopefully we'll eat after she falls asleep.